beautiful day. Temperatures in the 40s, mostly clear skies and light winds as we look live to the west from City Park. Uh, Governor Hickenlooper made reference to his first inauguration, which was eight years ago, January 11, 2011. It was 10 degrees. Compare that to Jared Polis. Temperatures in the lower to middle 40s at his inauguration today. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s for most of us here at lower elevations. 30s in the mountains, still 9 right now in Gunnison. Later on here, I think we will top out uh, probably in the 20s in the Gunnison area. Here along the Front Range, we're going to warm up a few more degrees. Temperatures close to 50 for some of us. The difference between yesterday and today is the wind's much lighter, but the wind's coming in from the east instead of the west. So there's no downsloping component to the wind. So really, the only thing that's warming us up is the sun. And of course, we have plenty of it. So our high temperature will probably occur a little later in the day than it has been recently. Meanwhile, pretty quiet weather all across the west. Temperatures above normal for most of us. There is a storm system off the west coast. Rain here today from San Francisco up to Portland to Seattle. Now, this storm is going to split into two. Some of the energy goes north, some of it goes south toward us. And it's looking a little more likely that we will see at least some snow in Colorado coming up Thursday night into Friday. It's not going to be much, but there is the potential for maybe up to an inch of snow in Denver on Friday, perhaps a little bit more for the Palmer Divide, Douglas and Elbert counties, and then farther south down into El Paso. Paso County in the Colorado Springs area. So we'll keep you posted on this spread as we get a little closer. By no means will it be a big snow event and before it a big warm up high temperature of 60 on Friday or excuse me on Thursday before that chance for some snow on Friday and cooler going into the weekend. <laughs>